a YouTuber named Johnny B. Good goes ghost investigating at an underground memorial deep in the woods to see if they can uncover any evidence of the paranormal. They notice these rocks are in a strange formation that I think could have been used for some kind of black magic. These rocks were placed here in a circle once, yeah. in this one corner. Why is there a hole right there? Sure enough, holes are in two corners of the room. Could this be part of the spell? They ask if this place is a portal, and look what their K2 meter does in response. Is that a gateway for you? Yeah, okay. And here's where it goes from creepy to downright sinister. Their UV light detects two blotches of fluid. They could have come from some kind of vein opening ritual that never should have been. A person with an interest in graveyards is casually filming when they accidentally pick up a bizarre and possibly dangerous watcher. You can see a blurry shadow as it takes a few steps out from the other side of a wall, but the person recording doesn't seem to notice. It wasn't until much later that they reviewed the video and found the hidden lurker in the distance. I personally think that this could be CGI because the resolution of the video seems to have been lowered, which is always a sign of amateur effects. Then again, the person recording may have been using a cheap camera. Or maybe this is an older video. This scary ritual is about to go very wrong. Near Shadow shows us why we should never play with the devil. First, he must submit a drop of vital fluid. It says a single drop. Right where your name goes. You could probably just dab it on the paper. Too. No, it has to drip. Then he must knock on a door 21 times. Okay. Is that your end even in 30 seconds? Um, yep, I'm watching the... They start to hear some things bubbling up. It sounds like... Wow, I got cold chills. It sounds like wind, but like echoing wind, like... Yeah. And the furnace isn't on. There's no, no heat on. And it continues. You hear that? God. We can only guess what 70 means. While communicating with the spirits, they continue hearing a noise coming from the door, and then it moves. Oh, more here. Oh, your candle. Oh. You're not even going to take your candle. <laughs> what did you just say? Oh, orange. I'm orange? I have an orange candle. Oh. And then it really moves. Making a noise. Holy shit. Babe. Oh my the door just opened. Oh my There's no way. And then it's clearly being moved by something. There's just such a ringing. Babe. I'm not even playing. To me, the first couple movements look like they could have been from a draft. That last one, though, that one sold me. A South Korean ghost hunter named Tosachi is exploring a haunted house where seven people met a fateful end, including a husband and wife. The inside is weird and creepy in his words, and give the paranormal investigator goosebumps to explore. He knows that multiple spirits are close, he can sense them, and then one of them gets his attention. Faint knocking sounds behind him are from a ghost at the window begging to be let in. This relic is keeping them away. It's a stick with thorns which, in South Korean culture, is said to keep the spirits from entering when placed above the entrance. Every time he tries to go outside and catch a ghost on tape, his motion tracking software keeps freezing, a sign that they are near. The spirits are waiting for him to remove the relic and let them back inside where they belong. He removes the stick and waits. They walk in through the front door. What 
and he feels a rising horror as one passes through him. Oh! But unfortunately, his paranormal equipment continues to shut off just before the ghost sighting is caught on tape. Finally, when he gets it back on, a ghost appears in the dark hallway. There is nothing on the screen to mistake for a person, just total darkness, and yet the ghost hunting equipment identifies a mysterious shadow figure moving past, and when Tosachi returns to the window where he heard knocking noises before, he sees another full-fledged ghost figure in the window. At 19 minutes and 20 seconds, it stands in the hall, apparently glad to be allowed inside again. It climbs up to sit in the window and, at 19 minutes and 29 seconds, appears to wave hello. Scary, right? Is that a hula hoop? Posted to TikTok by Camilo Rodriguez, a dark ring looks like it's burnt into the sky above. The mysterious video was captured in Colombia on March 6, 2022. After searching for some explanation, I couldn't find any for this specific ring, but I have found that it's not unique. One appeared over Pakistan in 2020 and is thought to have been caused by a small combustion blast through a circular structure. Again, one in Britain in 2014. This was traced back to a fireworks test. And finally, over Chicago in 2012, this one traced to the rupture of an electrical transformer. So while this may look like an ominous vortex to misery, I guess it's actually an ominous vortex of mystery. Beware of the shadows when at Donovan Mill, the historic mining site in Silver City, Nevada, has a reputation, and it's not a good one. At least one documented incident of someone taking their own life has been recorded there. Perhaps it's the spirit from this unfortunate history that lingers in the mill. Posted to the Chills Narrator subreddit, Facts by James TV writes, At 24 minutes 30 seconds, you could see a shadow-like figure down the hallway. At the very same space, it is known to be haunted by a spirit named John that is very protective about that area. At the timestamp in question, you can see what James is talking about. He said he felt a presence, so they stopped and shined the flashlight down at the end of the hall. A small shadow figure appears there. Casting light down that way doesn't make it disappear. What do you think about this creepy catch? Would you have the guts to venture down the hall to investigate? This spooky midnight sighting is quickly becoming known as the ghost boy under the stairs. It could simply be a bug walking across the camera, but what's weird is how it seems to stay confined to the area under the steps. Then at 15 seconds, it reaches the farthest corner and vanishes. Take a look again and tell me if you think this is real or special effects. Even the person who uploaded this video says they didn't believe in the supernatural until seeing this at their job. This Chicago police body cam shows multiple officers rushing to save a man and his dog from freezing in Lake Michigan. From a distance, it looks like the distressed person is trapped on a snowbank at first. But as the officer approaches, you can see the person is actually waist deep in freezing waters and ready to go under. The officers quickly extend a rescue cord for him to tie onto, and they yank him to safety with one strong pull. Thankfully, they are able to do the same with the dog as well. I'm guessing that he was walking his dog along the edge of the water for a nicer view when the snow gave way. The cold water must have left him practically frozen from the waist down and unable to climb out. Let me know if you agree whether or not that's what probably happened. Is this a werewolf, a cryptid, or something else? Redditor Twist of Fate 666 shares this creepy video of a mysterious creature in the darkness. Watch closely and tell me what you think. I think I'd run for the hills if I saw this in my backyard, but Redditors have many different takes. It looks like a demon at this angle, but still others think it's something natural.
is this an elephant or a four-legged stilt Halloween costume? As some Redditors are suggesting, or like the uploader thinks, could this be a werewolf? There are so many options that I feel I'm leaving this guessing game with more questions than answers. This entry is a poltergeist three-parter. The first clip was published by Adam in November of 2021. It shows a cabinet with a mind of its own. One of the drawers opens repeatedly, slamming closed each time. Next, an object falls from above, knocking a picture frame and another object to the floor. But these poltergeists are just getting started. In the second clip, published in October of 2021 by Weird in the Bizarro News, a soda can on the counter moves ever so slightly. It later slides across the counter and twirls all the way down. Then it begins to jump up and down. Another creepy clip shows a computer lab with a couple of office chairs acting on their own. They wheel around the lab, twirling and then really launching across the floor. If these clips weren't caught on camera, would you believe they happened? This video evidence seems to prove that no matter how much we think we know, we do not know everything. A live streamer named Lothar is in the middle of playing Hearthstone when he suddenly starts acting out of sorts. If you pay close attention to his face, you can see that he is clearly feeling some discomfort. He takes his headset off and tries to regain control over himself, but to no avail. and his wife finds him there. She tries to get him to come to his senses. Here is a brief excerpt of the call. I don't speak the language, but common sense gives me some idea of what she is saying. Still, any translations are appreciated. Nie, ale tak wyglądało. Słucham? Tak, tak, ale myślałam, że się in case anyone is wondering, Lothar spent about a week recovering, but this has not happened since. Zack from The Adventures of Zack and B is sure that a wild animal is in his attic. It's dark up there, so he takes the camera with him for light. The noise coming from his attic is unlike anything I've ever heard before. It sounds like a baleful combination of scratching, growling, and howling. Zack doesn't bother going any deeper and I really can't blame him. Unfortunately for him, it sounds like something follows him on the way out. Well, I don't see anything, so let's, uh, let's go ahead. Let's go ahead. Let's go ahead. Let's go ahead. An unseen voice says don't and I think it also says get out of here too. Obviously, this is a real human voice and not an animal after all. And whoever was making that noise remains a mystery. Jan Flink heads to a crumbling cluster of haunted cabins in his home country of Finland. His flashlight cuts out six times as soon as he reaches the back of the first cabin. He is still holding it though, so maybe he is doing it himself. Up in the attic, he finds this strange setup, a single bowl on a makeshift sleeping area made of thin wood. Only one shoe is never a good sign. He goes outside and his flashlight starts messing up some more, but look behind him right before it does. Um, should I just say bye? Um, or see you again in next video. Bye. A woman in red with long black hair is looking at him. It wouldn't be too hard to fake this, and the fact that nothing happens for 44 minutes until the very end of this video makes me suspicious, but Jan Flink claims that this is the spirit of a woman who had a bad encounter with a bear in 1964 and passed away. It's been years since the video was posted, and as far as I've been able to research, he never said it was fake. A YouTuber named Solar and his friends are checking out an old abandoned hotel that's rumored to be the secret meeting place for an organized cult. 
The first thing they notice is how the hotel looks to still be in use, despite being abandoned for many years. The pentagram in the floor looks recent and could be used for who knows what. They decide to arm themselves and keep exploring. Eventually, they wind up on an overpass and can see their SUV, but something is out of place. Honestly, like, we want to come back here. Oh, shit, bro. What the No way. Oh, shit. A wheeled cart comes rolling towards them, obviously pushed by someone nearby. The friends know that danger is near, so they race to their car and get out of there before the cult has a chance to take them away. A YouTuber named Godiva calls this a bizarre sighting caught on camera, and he's definitely right. The slow-moving shadow figure grows larger as it extends over this house. It's all caught on their home CCTV system, and it's a creepy moment for sure, but tell me if it's a formless shadow person or some sort of insect. As the legend goes, the Saratoga light appears on Haunted Bragg Road, a dirt road in southeast Texas. Many witnesses have observed the ghost light, with some believing it has paranormal origins due to a legendary railway incident in which a railroad worker lost his head. He is now believed to search for it in the night, carrying his lantern. Published by The Vortex in October of 2018, this scary video sees the man search for the mysterious Saratoga light light. During their eight-mile drive along the creepy ghost road, the paranormal investigators eventually start to see a beam of light. They stop along the dirt road and get out to capture the light, which they think might be a car. And it does turn out to be a vehicle as they discover when they drive ahead. But at the same time, they said they caught a mysterious light behind them which disappeared, a bright glowing red one. The eerie light doesn't seem to be far off. Many in the comments claim to have seen the light firsthand along this road. YouTuber 5th Gen Texan Texas Forever writes that he saw it years ago while walking along the road in the dark. He explains, It appeared suddenly right in front of us, zipped away and came back really quickly, then disappeared again right in our faces. While this glowing red doesn't appear to zip away, the many confirmed sightings of the Saratoga lights certainly make me consider believing. A coffee shop in New Jersey, known only as the cafe is rumored to be quite haunted. This used to be a hardware store long ago, and every day at 3 in the afternoon the old owner is said to still make rounds. A paranormal investigation team sets up a camera to test the rumor out, and sure enough, at 3 in the afternoon this light anomaly plays against the wall. It looks like someone is walking through the room at first, but then again, it could simply be light reflecting off the window of a vehicle driving by. Roughly half an hour later is when a second camera records this chair moving by itself. First it pulls out and then it smoothly goes back into place, like somebody sitting at the table. There are no strings on the legs and no visible shadow on the wall, so I think it could have been a ghost like they say it was. The ghost hunters also claim to have heard footsteps too, but unfortunately the video evidence does not have sound, so there's no way to verify that part of their investigation. This happened in May of 2020, so hopefully we get more potential ghost sightings from this coffee shop in the near future. What is this blue sphere spinning in the sky? Shared by YouTuber Arte Morbid, this video was captured by Juanjito Juan in Valle Hermoso, Mexico. The footage was taken at around 2.30 in the morning. Up close, the unidentified flying object looks like this. It 
It was drifting over this man's house for around 30 minutes before it vanished. It certainly doesn't look like anything identifiable to me. But is it extraterrestrial? I do think the increased activity in this area might indicate something mysterious is going on. Trevor, aka Hitch, has a live stream channel where he travels all across the country meeting new people. The only problem is the people he meets aren't always alive. He's staying overnight at a hotel that's supposedly haunted when scary things happen to him. The kind of stuff the hotel's owner would probably never want you to see because it would be bad for business. I've never seen anything that can be explained. I've never heard anything that could have no explanation. He is in the middle of talking about how he's never experienced a scary moment that couldn't be explained. And I, like I'm doing stuff where people, I, I think people would be like, "You're, you'd be very." <laughs> when suddenly some weird things caught on live stream leave him laughing uncontrollably with fear. I think he's laughing to cover up an intense sense of panic. A vein is about to bust out his forehead with adrenaline, suggesting his fight or flight instincts were triggered and he was gearing up for conflict. This was not someone in his hotel room because, unless I'm mistaken, he wasn't sharing a room with anyone in this video. He was staying all by himself when the lights turned on. I guess he could have asked a random person to help him make a ghost video, but his response seems genuine so I don't think this moment is made up. I will say as a counterpoint that many other scary livestream moments like this have turned out to be fake though, so I'm not claiming this was 100% real. I'm just saying that this was really weird and he seems freaked out. Tell me if you think he was really staying in a haunted hotel that night. I think he was. After all, when you traveled to different places all over the country. It's only a matter of time before one of them ends up being haunted. Zake Nikoff is exploring the Bauer House, an old farmhouse in West Virginia, when he catches something of interest leaning out the window. This gray specter watches over them from afar. If you still don't see it, it's looking to the left and the lighter colored area at the bottom is its right shoulder. Don't worry, if it's too hard to see, Zake didn't see it at first either. His camera passes right over it and doesn't notice until they were already far away. I think it looks like it could be the reflection of a cloud, but at the same time I do agree it looks like it could be the spirit of a person watching them enter, and if it is, it doesn't seem pleased. In the very beginning of this creepy video from India, a man is riding on a motorcycle and then he's suddenly on foot. So I guess he must have broken down in the middle of nowhere and has to walk to the nearest town. After a while, he sees somebody else and is relieved to find help. But when he gets a better look, his hope does not last. The woman is wearing long white robes and holds her arms bent in a weird stance. The two do not speak and the man knows that she is not normal, so he doesn't even try. As she advances, he notices her face is abnormally gaunt and pale, the face of a zombie or someone close to their end. And the scary woman is making creepy noises too, barely human ones at that. She is not very coordinated and he keeps backing away to create more space, more amazed at this strange sighting than necessarily scared. The best look we get at her face is around 2 minutes and 47 seconds. Some say that this is a demon sighting caught on tape and she has large dark circles under her eyes like a possessed woman, though I suspect it could be special effects makeup. He slowly backs away without taking the camera off her for a minute, never letting her slip out of his sight until he presumably reaches help in the next town. Stephanie Jenkins is filming her child at the bottom of some steps when suddenly she goes from smiling to startled. <laughs> Whoa. The child definitely looks like she saw something, but she takes a few steps into the next room and then quickly forgets about it. Some people have noticed what appears to be an orb float overhead, while some people think that this is a speck of dust or something similar. 
Others think it could be a long-lost relative paying their respects to the next generation of kin. Is my house haunted? Writes a user named BB5432 on the haunted subreddit. This paranormal video of their place was caught on a neighbor's doorbell cam across the street who later showed it to her out of concern. It doesn't look like much at first, but there's actually a lot of creepy things going on in this video that you might not see. But first, let's start with the basics. The Reddit poster claims her house was completely dark when these mysterious, unexplained lights started flashing all around the door. The television in the living room was not on, she says, and even if it were on, it's facing the opposite way at an angle that would not create this effect at all. Whether or not to believe her is up to you. I do because the flashing seems too bright for a television and takes up the whole window at times. Nobody would watch a television screen that bright because it would undoubtedly hurt to look at for that long. And at 25 seconds, the creepy light grows even brighter and does not subside until the video ends. BB5432 later posted, she she has no further reason to think their house is haunted, but still struggles to explain what this was if not a ghost. She adds the same thing happened to her years ago. The same neighbor showing her and her husband lights in their door, and nobody could figure it out then either. Someone said they should check the electrical wiring in that room, which I agree is a good move. But other than that, everyone else says this is super weird and even she has to admit she's creeped out. There's also one more weird thing that I wasn't even going to mention except she saw it too. A shadow figure in the doorway. You can see it whenever the lights go down, but it's probably most apparent at 4 seconds. I took a still image and zoomed in. Here it is with no special effects whatsoever. The outline of a shadow figure looking out the window. Tell me if you can see it too. I'd say that house is haunted. If that's not a resident. A paranormal team led by Derek Reese sits around the old family room of a haunted house in an undisclosed location. One of them must be sensitive to spirits because he asks them if they feel anything and maybe he accidentally channels something into the room. Oh my God, You can see everyone except for one person when the knock happens, but her hands are in her lap under a pillow, so no, it's not her. Later on, they are looking at old videos when two visual artifacts appear. One is pink and one is green, and neither of them will go away no matter what they try. And that's when they hear creepy singing and a deep voice say something like, get away from the door. The audio is pretty low quality, but what do you hear? Amit Daksh has caught some scary activity at the Bobina station in India that he thinks could be paranormal. He's filming a train pass by when a shadow figure passes in front of him at 20 seconds. He thinks this could be a real ghost sighting he's caught on tape, but I'm wondering if it's his own shadow under the train's bright lights. Something's weird about the angle though, so maybe it's a real person or a shadow figure like he claims. Freaky, right? A ring doorbell camera caught this video of a scary clown lurking around the neighborhood, and it has everyone freaking out. A total stranger stands with their head bent at an extreme angle, examining the doorbell camera before a noise startles them, and they slowly back away like they were about to do something wrong. This was taken four days before Halloween, so it's probably somebody who is super excited and just wanted to creep people out early this year. Still, no friends are with them as they lurk around people's property uninvited, and no one in the neighborhood recognizes them, so who knows what they're up to. Also, notice how they didn't go back to the sidewalk. They go through the yard like they're either about to look in the next house or try a window. It might be four days before Halloween, but maybe they're using using this as cover to case houses in the near future. 
This intriguing unidentified flying object sighting was captured on a windy night in Spain in 2009. A full moon is looming overhead. Watch to the left of it. A strange light formation appears. At first, the lights are in disarray. Wait a minute, look at it. Look at Holy yeah. shit, look at that. Yeah. Look at the shape. Oh my god. Whoa, that is that cool. You see that? Yeah. Look at it. It's covered right But then they form a triangle. Run. Uh, they look at the perfect shape. Many in the comments are astonished and are wondering if this is for real. What do you think? A bizarre unknown creature sighting needs more attention because it's beyond creepy. Melly Cecu is watching the sun come up over a riverbank in Ormond Beach, Florida. Her moment of tranquility is replaced with fear when this comes floating her way. I don't know what this is. That is a body or something. I don't know what that is. She follows it along the riverbank for as long as possible before the current grows strong and takes the odd object. Millie describes it as having scales more like a snake than a fish and also says she legitimately thought it was something from another planet when she first caught the creature on camera because of the huge size and weird shape. I don't know what that is. It looks like an alien. Look at that. The camera won't focus. Oh my. To her, this looks like the snout of a humanoid creature with rows of sharp teeth. I tried to find a picture of a similar fish in the area, but admittedly was unable to. And maybe it's just the reflection, but it looks like it could be much larger underwater. She says if this was a fish, then nobody has been able to show her a picture of what it is. Let's help her solve this mysterious unexplained video, because to be honest, I'm not sure what this mysterious figure is either. If none of us can figure out a better answer, then maybe we have to concede that a strange creature is in fact lurking around this region of Florida. 20 years ago, this hospital was abandoned. Now urban explorer Luan Mendez is ready to investigate the hospital to see if it's haunted. He's exploring the hospital in search of the scariest place he can think of, the morgue, because that's where a ghost is most likely to be caught on camera. The only problem is he and his team aren't exactly sure where it is, and soon they get twisted up in a maze of hospital hallways. The ghost of a nurse is said to roam these halls. They don't see anyone, and yet every room they pass leaves them feeling more watched, more creeped out. <laughs> A figure sprints past without making a sound, and I think this is a real ghost sighting because the ghost hunters are walking, and you can hear their footsteps loud and clear. Meanwhile, the apparition is running full speed, but there are no footsteps, which shouldn't be possible. Listen again. Hmm. <laughs> They investigate the floor and find no footprints. Someone, perhaps a ghost, was just running down the hall. But the dust is undisturbed, further evidence that this was a real ghost in the hospital hallway. They're scared, but they keep exploring the abandoned building, eventually coming across some more weird things in the nursery area. Creepy stuff like this picture of a child on a rope that scares them. Creepy stuff like a rotten offering of some sort, stuck against the wall in what appears to be a bizarre ritual. On the ground, they see two small red dots and begin following the splatter pattern. And what they found at the end still haunts the ghost hunters to this day. <laughs> Something swings upside down, and if you look directly behind them, you'll see it's in the same creepy room that they just showed on camera. So where could this thing have been hiding? 
and when they gather enough courage to check a second time, nothing is there. A YouTuber named Simo Vlogs explores an abandoned building, which he and his friends stumble across a room on the top tile floor with upside down humans. They are taped many times over, and there looks to be no breathing holes. This room looks like some kind of art storage room, so maybe these are just projects. I'm not sure why they would be wrapped and hanged up like this, so if you're an artist and know what's going on here, be sure to let me know. I'm pretty sure that this video isn't real, because this room would probably stink way too bad to go near, and plus the smile doesn't exactly look like the face of someone who just came across a psycho secret stash, but that's just my opinion. Rankin Fishing is at it again at the Indian River Inlet in North Beach, this time hoping to hook himself some blue fish. Never was he expecting this. He gets a hit on the line and is a little nervous to find, in his words, The freaking worst thing to catch. The arrangement of dark brown and black spots on its back immediately tells him this is a clear nose skate. Skates are similar to stingrays, except for a few differences I won't get too deep into. All that matters is they will defend themselves, however they can live another day. This one looks to be full grown so he has to be extra careful. It's not the tail he needs to watch out for, but rather the mouth. The clear nose skate has between 46 and 54 teeth on the top row, and around the same number on the bottom. 108 teeth total, small and blunt, packed closely together for dense crushing power like a vice. Its jaws can crack open, hard-shelled prey like clams and crabs with no problem. Your hand is no match. At 2 minutes and 56 seconds, the skate's bottom lip becomes lurched out and is perfectly aligned with the soft webbing between his index and thumb. The end result is something terrifying. There's a lot of red and yelling afterwards, and the only thing left to do after unhooking the creature is dip his hand into the salt water. Let's just say he's lucky the skate got this part of his hand, as opposed to a finger, which would have come right off. He wonders out loud if something's going to happen to him later. I'm sorry, that hurts so much. I hope they don't have any like toxin. I did some research and found that skates, unlike stingrays, do not have any toxins, so he doesn't have that to worry about. But he should still probably go to the hospital, because it might have some nasty bacteria around its mouth that he wants nothing to do with. He later describes this encounter as the worst physical sensation any deep sea creature has ever inflicted on him in all his years. He has my sympathies, and I hope, for the sake of his hand, that nothing else from the ocean is ever able to do worse. A YouTuber named Ponji Petualan is searching for frogs with his friends late at night along with anything else they can find. The team has their head down to look for prey, but at 21 minutes and 4 seconds, Ponji looks up for the briefest of moments and catches this bipedal creature as it sprints away from the light. It happens so fast that they don't even appear to see it at first. It appears to be a pale white and instinctively flees from the light, which makes sense for a nocturnal creature to do. It does not make a sound as it moves, despite being the size of a human and a very close distance away. <laughs> This video was taken around Halloween when paranormal investigator and YouTuber The Fam visited the gravesite where famous rapper XXX Tentacion was laid to rest. He records the glass door while paying their respects, and you can see the inside of the memorial is empty. But when they pass over the door a second time, something is very different. Look at the bottom left window or you'll miss it. What's especially crazy is how he seems to appear as soon as they leave a hat and harvest pumpkin as tribute. If this video is to be believed, then it's as if he is paying his respects to his fans from beyond the grave. If you hear something at 3am, pretend like you didn't, otherwise this could be the end result. I hear something. <laughs> oh, 
It looks like an animal outside at first, but it clearly isn't. I think it might be a skinwalker feasting on this person's pets. Is that what skinwalkers do? Better hold your pet close tonight. This door sounds like a witch and I'm not even exaggerating. Would you be able to live in a house that made this noise? <laughs> People in the comments are saying it's possessed or cursed. I'm not going that far, but I'm just saying that if any part of my house even sounds remotely like this, I'm moving far away. In July of 1973, Clara and Phil Dandy moved into this unassuming farmhouse bordering the woods of Hinsdale, New York, thinking that it would be a nice cozy place to raise their children. It would hardly last for more than a year. Their troubles began within days of moving in, minor annoyances like constant hang-up phone calls and cabinet doors getting left open, and then not so minor things like a soft chanting coming from deep in the woods. Soon apparitions were roaming the hundred-year-old house along with faces in the windows. As the weeks dragged into months, they recruited the help of a clergyman named Father Alphonse to cleanse the house, upon which they claimed to have felt a scream rattle the walls, followed by a period of calm. However, the peace and quiet lasted only a few days before the spirits returned in full force, forcing the devastated Dandy family to move out 13 months later in October of 1974. The house has chewed through a few more families since then. None of them stayed for long, but nobody knows what they saw. The house couldn't sell and fell into a state of disrepair until 2015, when a paranormal investigator named Daniel Clace purchased it for him and his team to conduct their research. Daniel is an author, speaker, and paranormal documentary maker who co-founded the Western New York Paranormal Society in 2012. He has been interested in the paranormal his whole life, and that's why these videos seem legitimate, starting with this one in the downstairs bedroom. These spheres of light could be dust particles, or they could be spirit orbs that appear when the air becomes charged with paranormal energy. One thing that's weird is they are always moving straight up, all of them, and sometimes two at a time. This live camera feed is over 30 minutes long, and not once does an orb move downwards. That's definitely odd. And remember, I said faces are seen in the window. Well, I think this might be one of them, black eyes and all. Daniel uploaded the next video after he let a different team of ghost hunters investigate, a group called the Warriors of the Paranormal. They didn't want to miss anything, so they slept in shifts. One of them named Bobby Ann is asleep on the couch when this appears over her. A closer view only presents more questions. I see tiny ears, but the face is blacked out and it has no visible eyes or a mouth. It looks like it could have been fur, but that could also be bare skin. It's not a raccoon or a small dog, but those are the only two things it even remotely resembles. Maybe it could be a hand puppet, but there's no room for a second person to lay beside her, and she is facing the camera with the covers over her, so it can't be her. And it almost definitely can't be a wild animal, because I think even the deepest sleeper would wake with something so close. This is a different view from behind the couch. Bobby Ann turns in her sleep and looks at what's wrong with her arm. This part looks like their arm, but this circled part looks like something entirely different as it raises up then disappears, so maybe it was part of the blanket or something. But this rising dark apparition definitely is not. I don't know about you, but that definitely looked like some shadow person activity. Or maybe edited. Either way, I've saved the creepiest part of all for last. Check out this ghostly figure standing over the couch. It looks like a little girl in a dress with her head down, watching. I bet you didn't notice, but she was there all along. Anatoly Slivka was actively taking lives in the Soviet Union between 64 and 85. During these two decades, he fantasized about and recreated an event that he'd witnessed when he was in his early 20s. He'd seen someone drive into a group of pedestrians and take one of their lives a teenage boy wearing a young pioneer's uniform. Thereafter, he sought out boys to recreate the scene. This was easy being as he ran a children's club. After befriending a boy who was always on the shorter side, he would convince him to wear the young pioneer's uniform and be part of a controlled hanging experiment that he said would stretch their spines. He claimed he would revive them, but that was not the case. 
He took seven lives this way. Although he had done this to far more people, 43 in all. 36 actually were revived. All were filmed and photographed throughout the disturbing so-called experiments. And the footage was developed in Slivka's home laboratory. Slivka was arrested for his actions in 1989 and shortly after had his own life taken as punishment. Good riddance to a horrible person. Alan Kloss likes cars, but beyond that, he also likes exploring abandoned places that are creepy. Really creepy. One such exploration takes place at a bridge in Walnutport, Pennsylvania, where a woman in white fell into the canal and did not come out alive. Notice how at 3 minutes and 37 seconds the camera refuses to focus on the bridge, a sign of the supernatural some would say. They move their ghost hunting equipment to the edge of the water and get a strong paranormal response. The flashlight turns on by itself and they use two different pieces of paranormal equipment to independently verify the presence of something supernatural there with them. This seems like it could be the exact location where she went under. Look, I st all right, stopped back here. And judging by the way his ghost meter goes crazy here at 37 minutes and 34 seconds, I'd say this is either an underground utility wire or the place where she was laid to rest. Red. Orange, orange, orange. Is it red? Yeah. He hit actually hit red. Orange. Red, 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 wow. red. Oh my What do you think they've discovered? A YouTuber named Breaking the Shell goes exploring a 150-year-old home in search of the paranormal, and the paranormal is what they find. Shadow figures and footsteps have been reported by previous ghost hunters, but that's nothing compared to the paranormal evidence you're about to see. They're not even exploring inside of the house yet, and the investigation is already getting spooky. At 40 seconds, a mysterious, possibly paranormal white light appears in the window of the room above them. And before you say that their light is hitting a mirror or something, explain how at 45 seconds the light seemingly gets even brighter when the ghost hunter faces the opposite way. One of the things they notice is a bricked up fireplace where someone seems to have busted out, along with a door that has a padlock. There's another doorway with firewood in front of it that's been boarded up and painted over. I feel like somebody could have been kept in here against their will. That's weird. After exploring the house some more, they think they hear footsteps, like other ghost hunters have reported, and I think it might be happening over them in the room where the mysterious light was. And like it walked past that window like some people. They go outside and at 23 minutes and 7 seconds their camera gets blurry, like it's trying to focus on a ghost nearby. Then we see the weird mystifying light again, in front of them this time, and there's nothing but darkness so I don't think it's light from their camera caught on tape. No joke, I saw a lot right there. But here's the creepiest paranormal evidence of all. At 13 minutes while exploring the top floor, they see this blue blanket. It looks flat at first, but the more you look at it, the more it looks like the ghostly form of a child seems to appear under the blanket. Holy cow, this is terrifying. Now this has to be paranormal. This place is super haunted, and YouTube team Paranormal My wants to test its energy. Watch to the right. And if that wasn't enough, the chair on which the doll sits is moving uncannily. It does this again and again. until it can't take any more and launches backward.
This is some of the craziest, most jarring paranormal activity I've ever seen. The movements of these objects are so rapid fire, they look unreal. This home surveillance video shows a round transparent object dart across someone's front yard. It starts from a walkway and then goes down a hill towards the house, perhaps looking for a way inside. Meanwhile, whatever this is supposed to be glares at the camera without moving. And when I zoom in, I think those might be horns. This odd and mysterious sighting in the sky has been viewed online by hundreds of people who have been unable to provide a proper explanation. The strange object floats from behind a tree and travels very fast. The oddly long shape does not look like a drone sighting to me, and it doesn't have any lights or identifying features. It's too far away to tell what it is for sure, but at the same time, it's close enough to tell that it's beyond creepy. Captured at nearly 2 a.m., this security footage left behind a phantom trace. Published by Highlight Seed in March of 2022, the mysterious video shows a couple of figures crossing along the dirt road outside of a compound. The first figure is solid. You can tell it's a human person making their way in the night. The second figure, however, Although this one too is carrying a flashlight, the figure never appears solid in form, and halfway down the path, he seems to evaporate upward into the air. Both he and his flashlight beam disappear. Does the contrast between the two figures prove that one is not what it seems, or are our eyes deceiving us? A YouTuber named Stephanie Famelli hears screaming coming from her daughter's school bus. Multiple kids shouting at the top of their lungs, not necessarily for help, but completely terrified from the sound of it. The driver is shouting something back at them, but to no avail. She creeps up on them without making a sound, but just when Stephanie is about to see for herself what the screaming is all about, the bus suddenly pulls away around the corner, kids yelling all the while. Bye bye, bus. According to her daughter, the kids were screaming that for no reason other than to make the driver mad, but we all know that sometimes kids will make up stories when the truth is too uncomfortable to say, and considering the bus driver was replaced soon after, who knows what was really happening in there. When you experience regular poltergeist activity in your home, monitoring it becomes top priority. YouTuber Donnie Drunkard shares this VR 360 video from a GoPro Max of his home's demonic activity. You can hear faint knocks or footsteps repeatedly. More unexplained sounds unfold. Not long after, there's a major smashing noise, followed by REM pod activity. You can also hear faint voices at this point, maybe from a TV turning on. Not long after this happens, And again, it sounds like the TV has been turned on or someone is speaking. The voice comes and goes throughout the remainder of the clip, but turning 360, you can't see anything on. And lastly, the spirits play a short tune. This video is particularly unsettling to me because you can see all four corners of the room at any time, so you know nobody is pulling the strings. I'm convinced that Donnie's house is haunted, and considering the noises, the demon doesn't sound friendly. When a YouTuber named Side Dreams hears that a clown is nearby, he and his friend decide to jump in the car and track it down. They think they see something in the cornfield and pull over to investigate. Out of the car, they are ambushed from behind. Get in here! 
What the f Go, 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 go! Holy oh my god! Oh my god. Go, go, f Holy oh my god! Oh my god! Someone rushes up to them wearing a bright orange wig and holding some sort of pole or even a spear. What's really crazy is that it seems to be able to keep up with the car for much longer than any human being should be able to. This person is either full of adrenaline or not of this world. Mikhail Krosbergen is deep in a cave in the tropical country of Laos when he catches this incredibly large arachnid lurking on the stony grey wall. Mikael later describes this spider as being the size of a full-grown pizza. Its eyes are large enough to reflect light back into the camera like a cat, which is something I've never seen a bug's eyes do. Eventually, the creature scurries into the darkness with the speed of a professional sprinter, never to be seen by human eyes again. According to the description, they are sure that this is a giant huntsman spider which apparently will bite on occasion. Tell me if you agree with their assessment and how you were able to tell for sure. A YouTuber named Nellis is exploring a haunted mansion in Bosnia where many people lost their lives during a dark chapter of their nation's history. Active minds dot the surrounding woods so they have to head straight inside. One of the first things they see is what they think are belts hanging from the ceiling that people could have looped around their neck, though I think they could have been hooks from hanging lamps. And there's them belts again. Look up there, there's them belts. Do people hang themselves? There's definitely people here. I think they sat around there. We see them again up close for a couple of minutes later, and they aren't belts at all. But I still don't know what they were used for. But wait, forget about the ceiling. Look at what's hanging against the wall. Going back to the first clip I mentioned earlier, it seems it was there all along. Over on the r slash ghosts subreddit, a user named Cam Sunkist shared Here's a video of a home surveillance recording on his front porch while a pizza delivery driver drops off the order at the house. Seems fairly normal right now, but this simple pizza delivery turns into something much more terrifying in just a matter of seconds. Very clearly, you can just hear somebody's voice. It's almost like a whisper, and it, it doesn't seem to catch the pizza delivery man's attention. It's, it's just very bizarre and out of place here. I'll just play it one more time. Just listen very, very closely. Amazingly, it doesn't even seem as if the pizza delivery driver even hears anything, so maybe this bizarre sounding voice was only audible once listening to the recording and not in person. That would definitely explain why the driver has no reaction whatsoever as soon as the voice starts speaking, but I would like to imagine that if he did hear it, he would be a little bit freaked out and would probably quickly drop the order off and leave immediately. One commenter says it sounds like perhaps Spanish and he thinks the voice could be saying, do you listen to me? Of course, this is just speculation, so take it with a grain of salt. But either way, this is one voice you certainly wouldn't want to hear on your security camera. Sophie Dosi is a talented contortionist with a twisted sense of humor, so to speak. Here she does a crab walk backwards at top speeds with her head barely hanging above the floor. This is a really creative, ingenious way to scare people that I've never seen done before, but I can't help but think it's a little dangerous too. I mean, if she steps on her hair while walking like this, her neck could snap all the way back. Maybe I'm just exaggerating, but I think I see it almost happen multiple times as she races down the aisle, which adds a whole new level of fear to the overall situation. It's said that on this battlefield, the ghosts of soldiers still roam. Published by Dark3 in July of 2019, a man is exploring a region where hostilities took many lives. The tree-heavy area features a couple of towers and a brick wall, dividing them. 
despite the rather average looking landscape. The cameraman says strange things are often observed here. After zooming in on the tower, the camera scans the tower from the top to the ground, which is covered by brush and trees. It is behind one of these trees that he captures a glimpse of a strange creature. It's hard to tell what this is. It looks hauntingly like an unearthly figure crouched down almost out of view. Its coloring does not blend with its surroundings, making me think there's a good chance this could be CGI. And that appears this is the case. So I guess that explains what this thing is doing here, because it certainly doesn't look of this world. There's some terror to be had in this abandoned structure. Published by Terror Al Extremo, this paranormal explorer first encounters these creepy bats hanging upside down like untransformed vampires. The ambiance is set now, and it grows as the cameraman comes across this piece of artwork painted on a stone wall. Is this divining what will come? When he continues to explore the area, suddenly he hears a scream. This is accompanied by what sounds like a blast or some other loud noise. Who is screaming out in this remote wilderness? And what was the sound that followed? Which one of us volunteers to wait around and find out? This haunted mansion isn't a Disney theme park ride. It's the real deal. On the Chills Narrator subreddit, Be More Talk submitted this freaky video in July of 2019 writing. This video was made while it was 115 degrees out. And I say this because while we were filming, we noticed that someone was in the top floor of this 42 room mansion that was built in the 1800s. The Uplands Mansion appears to be rather decrepit and is buried in nature. Lots of trees around and ivy growing up the mansion walls. Perfect scene for a ghost sighting. The video navigates the overgrown shrubbery surrounding the exterior of the mansion, some of which is covered with graffiti. At one point, as the YouTuber notes, there appears to be someone in the upper window. The YouTuber says someone keeps poking their head in and out of the window, but the visual is not clear. Whatever it is, it's enough to keep them out of that mansion, at least for now. Don't let Randonautica take you to just any random place, or you might live to regret it. This video is a prime example of why. Alright, going random nodding. And it took us to this shady park in the middle of nowhere, so let's see what we find. I came across it on a Vietnamese YouTube channel. After doing some digging, I was able to track down the original source to the TikTok account at Haley underscore AIG. Watch this next part closely. Did you see it? Something just peeked out from behind that tree, but that's not all. After the group crosses the bridge, they see the nightmare girl plain as day. I think we have to go over this bridge and our location's a little down there. What the f That would be enough to make me abandon this Randonautica mission, which the team actually considers doing. Oh, uh, what the f uh, should we keep going? But they don't, and then this happens. What? Why is she following us? Although we can safely assume this is expertly composed fiction, that doesn't mean my soul didn't leave my body while watching this. A man enters a restaurant in Split, Croatia, and helps himself not only to a chair, but to a customer's belongings as well. First, he enters loudly enough to make two women turn around and take notice. He was probably on a fake phone call and tried to play it cool but fails miserably. He pretends to hang his jacket up on the chair and stretches out to try and swipe this black backpack. It doesn't work and so, undeterred, he tries again. This time as one of the family members gets up and he's about as close as he can be to getting caught here at 41 seconds. And so he knocks it to the floor while the older man is busy swapping out a more comfortable chair, covers it with his jacket, picks it up and dips. They must have thought the odd fellow simply changed his mind about eating here. Only later did they realize he had gotten away with one of their travel documents. 
Obviously, this man has practiced this technique many times before and probably targeted them because they looked like a tourist family. He has yet to be caught in the past four years and most likely never will. So the next time you're at a restaurant, watch out for any odd character sitting at a table near you. Dom Soto is making a vlog in his bedroom when an urgent knocking sends him rushing to the front door. Dom Soto actually opens the door for this masked stranger, which automatically makes me think this video could be scripted because I think most people would have kept it locked. Then again, maybe he didn't think this was anything serious at the time, or maybe he couldn't understand what the person was trying to say through their mask. Whatever the case may be, they have a short and tense exchange. Let me in. No, I'm your biggest fan. Get off my property, dude. Eventually, Dom Soto convinces his biggest fan to leave, only to have him unexpectedly return moments later at the window. By this point, it's obvious that Dom Soto is not going to get rid of this intruder without help from the police. So he turns off the video and goes to call them. If this is real, then no update has been given on the situation for well over a year. This video, published by Adam in 2007, shows what the owner's dog has been barking at for several weeks. In the dark video, you can see the dog approach the outer door which leads into the kitchen. He seems like he's been alerted by something. He walks right up to the door, then something eerie happens. The door blinds open rapidly, then close just as rapidly. The dog waits there and there's a tapping noise heard on the film as light appears from the outside. When the blinds open again, then they rapidly shut. The dog whines for a minute, and the blinds roll up a bit, and then a bit more, and then even more than that. The dog just sits guard at the door as the blinds roll up slowly. For the rest of the clip, the loyal and very concerned dog just sits there at the door, aware of the paranormal happenings, but not sure what to do about them. None of us are Rex. This event is unexplainable in my opinion, but let me know if you have a different guess. The team from YouTube channel Paranormal Nightmare TV series encounters demons in this haunted house. As one of the home's residents gives the team a tour, she expresses surprise at the silence and the spirits respond in kind. You know it's here, but it's like, it's quiet. Because usually you'll hear like a little bit of banging or something like that, but there you go. The team conducts a spirit session in the house and they tell the spirit to leave. They don't want you here. Say, oh my gosh. He then hears a noise which is not entirely captured by the audio. It sounds like a door or somebody walking on wood, kind of. I'll explain it. It's the weirdest sound. A moment later, the audio does capture this. Okay. All right. Yep. I can't do this place. Sean leaves the house and it sits empty for 10 minutes. That's when the steady cam captures this. And this. And also this. What happened there? Was that paranormal activity? I think the spirits in the house are taunting the crew, just as they do the homeowners. But the real question is why? What are they here for? And what will it take for them to leave? Alex Miner pops off the top of his dark web mystery box and receives a handwritten warning. To paraphrase, it says that life is a dirty mystery and you never know what you are touching. As for the weird drawing beneath it, your guess is as good as mine. Alex finds an old compact disc and quietly sets it aside. Then he finds this weird leaky bag full of white powder. If you have any idea what this is, let me know. 
The next object almost certainly confirms my suspicions. Covered in the mysterious white powder is this weird tool marked Biohazard. Biohazard. Can anybody tell me what this is? Later, when Alex plays the CD, this is what he hears. Listen to this and tell me if you can hear a voice say something like, I see you. And leave me a best guess as to what this all means. A YouTuber named Ghost Chic believes she has a problem in her home of the paranormal variety. One day, her dog just starts patrolling the living room, as if on guard, even though there is nothing out of the ordinary and no strange noises. I'm wondering if it is annoyed by something on television or at something we can't see standing there. Then it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Whatever it is, he seems satisfied that it's gone for now. But then he tries to track it. Meanwhile, notice how the smaller dog doesn't seem to care at all. Is everything okay? It's definitely weird, although maybe it could have just been a bug or something. But still, that doesn't explain how on a different day, both of her dogs get up to see who's at the door. The door opens and I think I might see a shadow pass through, though it could be the outside light. As soon as she's coming in to see what's wrong, the barely discernible orb passes overhead, unseen to her at the time but caught on camera nonetheless. And when she later goes ghost hunting using a Kinect in the same room, she detects a spirit by the window. I want to pan so you can see that there's no one else over there with her. No one's on my curtain. Then, something eerie happens. So is this a paranormal encounter? Or is this person waving their hand at 38 seconds, also moving it with their hand during this part? I'll let you decide. Most already know that playing with a Ouija board is not a good idea anywhere, anytime. But some are still learning their lesson the hard way. Or rather, the scary way. The Batabun team sets up a Ouija board in a haunted cemetery in Mexico, and soon they realize they're bound by the rules of the supernatural. I don't think anyone is pulling the object with a string because it moves in different directions while they stand in place. Plus, at 23 minutes and 42 seconds, it sounds like something is grinding the pointer into the board while none of them are touching it. Was it a ghost? Maybe not. There's more than enough space for somebody to fit under the board where they could use a magnet to move the pointer from below. However, I think you'd be able to see through this gap. So this creepy video might be real. Thank you so much for getting me to 50,000 subscribers here on my Clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Let's get to 60,000 subscribers next. Thank you.